UNESCO has designated the whole city of Valletta as a World Heritage Site. Come with me as I explain the reasons to you why. I begin this tour by walking through the capital's city gates. A nice amalgamation between the old and the new elements of the city. Being redesigned multiple times throughout the centuries with the latest redevelopments in 2014. St John's Co-Cathedral. This 16th century building is argued by some to be the best attraction in the city. The name originates because it is in fact the second cathedral of Bishop of Medina, with the first being, well, in Medina. After 160 years of British rule, Malta gained its independence in 1964, but some British elements still remain, such as driving on the left-hand side and the British plug. H hello? The upper Baraka Gardens were originally constructed in 1661 as exercise grounds for St. John's Knights. Then they were later transformed into public gardens by the French. Now you can come up here and explore and see some incredible sights of Valletta. At 12 pm and 4 pm, you can catch the cannons firing at the saluting battery. Originally, these were fired to welcome ships coming into the harbour. The elegant Baroque buildings along the Valletta waterfront were once used as warehouses storing vegetables, grains and seafood and they had different coloured doors to represent each of the contents. These have now been refurbished and have been turned into restaurants amongst other things. The perfect spot to enjoy a lovely meal by the harbour. Now you may be forgiven for thinking that Lower and Upper Baraka Gardens are part of the same area but they're not. The Lower Baraka Gardens are just a short walk along the coastline with a very similar style but a little bit quieter. Measuring a mere one kilometre by 600 metres, Valletta is extremely small, which is perfect for wandering around its streets. The streets were in fact built on a grid formation to bring cool sea breezes through the city, and the buildings were built extremely high to provide shade in the hot summer months. Only a short taxi journey from the casino, Valletta's golden buildings, colourful balconies and narrow streets are not to be missed on your trip to Malta. We hope you've enjoyed this video and for more information on WPT Deep Sax Malta, just head to WPT.com and our Facebook, Instagram and Twitters. Sign up at clubwpt.com.